Mighty Mamas, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I build a wall-mounted coat rack cheap and easy. Yes, this is a DIY that most anyone can certainly do. I know that if I can do it, you can do it. And more than likely, you have the supplies needed laying around your home right now. So that's what makes this project so cheap and super easy to get done. And I'm also going to be doing it in a modern farmhouse style. So if that's your vibe and you want to know how to build a wall mounted coat rack, then this is the video for you. So keep on watching because I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Hey mamas, okay, so I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a DIY, and this is actually something I'm doing for my current video, which I'm also filming today. So I needed to put hooks on the wall, and I decided to make my own like farmhouse hook plaque. I think that's what it's called. So I'm gonna share with you guys right now what you need to do this. So first, you're going to need a piece of board so it all depends on the length that you want yours to be this is a perfect size this is something I found laying around my house it was an extra piece of trim from our um, shiplap kitchen island that we did we did it in shiplap wallpaper but we did um, border it out in wood trim so if you didn't see that video make sure you guys go check that one out but I'm gonna share with you guys today how I make this farmhouse hook uh, plaque I call it so you're gonna need that piece of a board depending on the length and then you can also get them wider it just depends on what fits in your space and then also these far farmhouse hooks or any type of hook that you would like but I just went with like the classic farmhouse hook and I got these off of Amazon um, I will link everything below but I think I got these for like 15 bucks and there was I want to say 10 of them or 12 of them or something okay and they also came with some screws okay so you're also going to need some tools to do this um, I am painting I'm gonna be painting my piece of board so that's optional up to you I just want to give it a nice coat of paint so it looks fresh and I'm actually going to be using the same color paint that I paint it on the wall above where I'll be hanging this and you're gonna need either a ruler or a measuring tape um, a hammer because you're going to need to hammer the little screws into the piece of wood and then a screwdriver to screw them in and then I like to use a little bullet level thing so I can make sure that I place them properly and that they're leveled and straight. And a pencil, of course, for your markings. Um, and I think that's all. So I'm gonna show you guys how we do this. I'm first gonna start out by painting this. my markings so I can put these hooks on the piece. I already let this dry. It's been drying for about an hour. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to measure the holes where they how far apart they are and mine are about an inch apart. So then I'm going to go ahead and measure 
the width of the board, which is a little over three inches. So I'm gonna do like 1.7 as the halfway mark. That's what's gonna tell me how to center it. So let's see here, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. So it's like three and a half. And now I have five of these hooks. So I wanna make sure that I know the length of it and I'm gonna divide it by five. start putting the screws in so the way I'll do that I'll show you a close-up of how I do that and like I said it all depends on the type of hook that you're going to use but this is what mine is required plus I'm using an MDF board so it'll be easier to screw through um, I don't need a drill for this so it really depends if you use a solid piece of wood more than likely you'll have to use a drill bit to pre-drill a hole before you can put the screw through So I just want to show you guys that I'm only going to be putting in one screw for now. This is just to hold it in place so I can figure out the placement between each of the hooks so that they come up even. Now the way I do this is I measure the length of my board and then I divide it in half and I put it in the halfway mark and then from that point on I measure from the halfway point to there and then I divide it into um, three spaces because of these spaces and that's how I can decide where to place them. So I know my measurements and I'm starting off with this end and I'm working my way all the way in. So I wanted to leave only one screw in so that I could like have some playroom in case I need to move it a little bit like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the one screw in for so sorry about that. My battery had died and I needed to actually bring this inside because it was getting dark out and the mosquitoes were biting me up. So as you can see, I am going ahead putting the one screw in each of the hooks. And once I get that done, I will follow up with straightening them out and adding the rest of the screws. Now, let me tell you, this was very labor intensive because I had to do every one of these screws by hand and uh, it was just very tedious. And I did end up getting a couple blisters so I did decide to try the drill a couple times, but it really didn't work out. It, it helped me with a couple, but it kept turning them off to the side. So I just revert it back to the screwdriver. <laughs> Separate. 
I finally finished and I absolutely love the final result. It looks gorgeous and I'm just so proud of myself that I did this. That is the best thing about DIYs is that you know, you get to look at that and you're like, damn, I did that. I did that, you know, and I didn't pay nobody to do it. And it's like, it's my creation. I love it. I love having pieces like that in my home. It just, just means so much more. And who knows, maybe this will last so long. I can pass it down to one of my kids, but I love how everything turned out. All the blood, sweat and tears was totally worth it. And it's going to go right here on this wall in my entryway, which I am finishing up tomorrow filming this video that I was working on today and decided to spontaneously do this DIY for this video that I'm doing. So make sure you guys check out that video as well. And if you guys liked what you saw today, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe to join my tribe. And I would love to have you guys here. And thank you so much for watching. And thanks for hanging out. Peace. Okay, so you know what? It's the next day and I decided to add in here the way I am going to put this up on the wall. So what we needed to do was basically pre-drill holes. So I went with the this part of the board because if we went over here then we would have possibly hit an electrical socket because this is going right under my light switches so we went inside a little bit and I just leveled it to the wall held it and then I made the marks and my husband just drilled it straight through with a drill bit all the way to the wall so we were able to know the marks and now he's going to Put a knock-in inside um, I think one of them has a stud if it has a stud it obviously does not require a knock-in and then we will just go ahead and screw in screws right through the pre-drilled holes and so I will show you he's gonna do that right now Change